Hey, this is the fighter. I'm here now with Marcelo Garcia. Marcelo, how are you today? I'm doing good, you know, we just got here, you know. <laughs> now, we're here at the MMA World Expo. There's going to be some grappling going on later today. Do you have anybody competing in the grappling events? No, I don't have students today compete because we folks in, we're going to have a seminar, so I want everybody to like, uh, just come to support the seminar that we're going to have like a 6.30 to 7.30 today, no gi, you know, it's to everybody who want to show up, you know. Now you do have a school here in New York. I think you just moved there. In fact, last year when we talked to you, you just moved over to that new location. So how has the new location been? Exactly. No, like uh, like I, I knew, like New York always treat me really, really good. And last year that we, when you have this MMA Expo, that was right when I moved to New York. I was just open my school. So now over here, we've been having like really good results. Like a lot of people is coming train. Uh, the students getting ready to, ready to compete. We already have competition like a couple weeks ago. We, we we did, we did really good, you know, I'm glad it's just like a, a gift for me, you know, the, the students went and do the competition really well. And, you know, I'm just like uh, doing my work and spend as much time I can in the school. And uh, MMA and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu are expanding so much lately. Uh, and grappling, of course, is coming bigger and bigger as it always has. Now let's talk a little bit, a little bit about uh, some grappling. What's it going to take for that to be, kind of get a lot more recognition, if you will, from the MMA world? You know, I think everything is work together, you know, I mean, like uh, the same way how... I MMA mean, cannot go alone, you know, because today you cannot just train MMA, you know, you got to have a little bit of folks in one thing, you know, you got to train the stand-up, the, the ground, you know what I mean? And Jiu-Jitsu too, you know, you know, we, that's why so many people get good in Jiu-Jitsu and they want to represent the Jiu-Jitsu MMA, they want to like test his technique in the MMA, you know what I mean? So we all have to work together, you know what I mean? Like, now are you still training any stand-up at all? Today I'm just focusing on my Jiu-Jitsu again, you know what I mean? I always feel like when I was doing a lot of MMA, I was I have a, like a, a feeling that I was missing my jiu-jitsu, you know, because you, you got to do everything, you yeah. know, you cannot just focus on one thing. And today I'm pretty happy to just back in jiu-jitsu. You know, yeah. I remember last year I asked this, but I'm going to ask you again. Is there any chance we're going to see you back in the MMA ring at some point? You know, there is a chance, you know, but not now. I'm pretty focused on my school, you know, I have all my students that I'm forced to make them, you know, learn some jiu-jitsu, you know, I mean, I'm trying my best every day in my school. And we you never know, you never know, like, uh, I'm not that I'm very compatible. I probably told you this before. I, I'm not the type of guy who ends something with a loss. I like to, you know, if I'm gonna do something, I wanna try getting it on my best. You know, maybe one day I wanna compete to get like my win in the MMA because I just have one pro fight. Was not the way I wanted. Was uh, was a different cut, was a different way too. So was not the way that I'm used to compete. It was 185 pounds, and who knows? One day, you know what I mean? But that, that's not what I'm thinking to now. I'm just thinking about it because you just asked me, you know, but that's not my goal now. Okay. Now, uh, outside of fighting, I'm a foodie, if you couldn't tell from this little pudge over here. So, <laughs> where can you get the best Brazilian food in New York City? I think you gotta Is there go, any place, actually? I think you gotta go to Queens, you know what Queens? I mean? Like, I don't think you can get in the city, you know what I mean? Like, a, a good Brazilian food, you know what I mean? What's your favorite Brazilian place in Queens? I don't know the name because I just found like a couple months ago. I went there twice, but I don't know the name. But you can get even like a good acai over there, you know what I mean? So whatever that is, go get it where he's somewhere in <laughs> I Queens. I don't think it's that hard to find in a Brazilian place over there. You know? All right, now, as we're here in, in New York State, New York City, MMA still not legalized. Marcelo, what's it going to take to get mixed martial arts legal here in New York? Man, I don't know. I'm just focusing my school. <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't like, care about politics and government at all. He's just like, I got my school. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> all like, right, I well, Mar know. that works for me, Marcel. Thanks for your time. All right, good to, good to have you. Check out his school. What's the website? It's mginaction.com. mginaction.com. Or Marcelo Garcia, MarceloGarciaJJ.com. All right, and thefighter.com. We're at it too. Why not? All right.